This is a new Panasonic GH5, which is the latest and top-end Lumix camera from, from Panasonic. It'll be out later this month. Unique features of this camera are the ability to record 10-bit 422, so broadcast quality video, in 4K onto an SD card. So internal recording is now 10-bit 422. In addition to this, we have in-body lens stabilization. So even with a prime lens like this, you'll get good lens stabilization, so you'll get rock-solid handheld shots. And if you use one of the lenses, the Lumix lenses with built-in lens stabilization, you get a double stabilization mode, which will keep it rock steady even when using it at telephoto. So in-body stabilization. Uh, we've also got two card slots. The previous camera had one. This allows us to do relay recording, so when you finish one card, you go straight on to the next card. It also allows you to record um, to both cards simultaneously, so you could give away a copy at the end of it. Another new feature is a full-size HDMI. So none of your fiddly little HDMI settings for this, which makes it much more robust. And in the box with it, you get an HDMI cable locking mechanism to make sure that HDMI doesn't pull out uh, if you're using it for a live event or anything like that. So the camera's about 10% bigger than the previous generation, and it's about 25% heavier, but still very small in comparison to, uh, to, to anything else on the market. Now, it, it uses a micro four-third sensor, and it's whereas the GH4 used to crop when it was filming, this camera uses the entire width of the sensor, which means it's better in low light performance because more photons can actually hit the sensor, but it also means we can use something like a Metabone speed booster, uh, and if you use that with Canon lenses, you get the equivalent of a, a Super 35 sensor in here, so it can give you wider shots than you would get on the GH4 because it's using the full width of the sensor. Shooting modes, it's got 4K 60p now, that's another new thing, so not just 4K 50 and 60p, but um, it's got 25p and 30p 4K at 10-bit 422, so higher resolution, better for grading, better for broadcasting, better for going through a whole production chain. Also, if you want HD video at high speed, it will do 180 frames a second, so ultra high speed shooting, again, onto the internal cards uh, built in here. There are new features like um, waveform monitor to help with exposure. So every professional cameraman can be really happy with how this works. So what we've got is a terribly flexible camera. It's going to cost about £1,500 plus, plus fat that you can use with a huge variety of different lenses, either autofocus with the Lumix lenses or, or manual focus like these cinematic lens I've got on the front here. And uh, really, there's absolutely no reason why you wouldn't want to buy several.